Voting has begun in four regions of Ukraine that have been seized and occupied by Russian forces in so-called independence referendums. People in Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhia and Kherson have been told to vote on proposals for their regions to leave Ukraine and become part of Russia. Ukraine and its allies, including the UK, have denounced the ballots as a sham to justify the annexation of Ukrainian territory. In Moscow, there have been rallies in favour of the referendums, but there's also growing unease over President Putin's plans to call up more men to fight in Ukraine, as our Russia editor Steve Rosenberg reports. It was the moment the Kremlin tried to show the people still back their president and what he's doing in Ukraine. Within days, Vladimir Putin is expected to annex a huge swathe of Ukrainian territory. There's international condemnation, but at home, the official picture is they trust Putin. Many of the people here, though, didn't trust us. When we asked the simple question, why have you come to this rally, there was a certain reluctance to answer. But they had something to say on the subject of mobilization. The call-up is worrying everyone with relatives of fighting age, Natalia says. Not Viera. I'd be much happier if my son got wounded fighting in Ukraine than die of alcoholism here, she says. Fighting is a proper man's job. In Ukraine today, in those areas occupied by Russian troops, Self-styled referendums began on joining Russia. The West has denounced the votes as a sham, a smokescreen for annexation by Moscow. Back in Russia, more goodbyes, more men called up to fight in Ukraine. There's growing concern here that the scale of mobilization is far greater than the Kremlin had let on. Emotions are running high. Why have you taken our sons? A mother is heard asking this officer. When he tells the audience that his own son isn't eligible for the call-up, listen to the reaction. For the president, this could become a problem. Vladimir Putin once promised Russians stability. Now he's sending them to the front line persuading Russians to keep faith in him won't be easy.